Hey y'all. Hey. We are going to do a life update, kind of like a little quick update. Yeah. Um, I know our video presence in the last month or so has been a little less than normal. Yeah. We were hitting it hard at putting out mostly a video every single day of the week. Then I kind of backed off on the weekends just um, trying to, it's just a lot. Trying to accomplish more. Yeah. And then, um, then I was doing a few a week and now I think we put out one last week. Yeah. It's, it's just, life is busy. We have a lot going on, especially in the summertime. All of you homesteaders know summer is pretty busy. And then yes. with them mowing, it's busy. It's mowing season. And, um, and we were sick. I, I was yeah, sick. Was and sick you got a little weeks, bit sick. I got a little sick. So, yep. so anyway, we're going to try to get back on track and we're, we're hoping to put out a few videos a week. I don't think we're going to be back on daily videos for a while just because that's a lot. It's a lot of pressure. Life's too busy. Life right is now. too busy for that. It's just a yes. lot to do um, to keep up with for right now. Yes. So anyway, so we're getting tomatoes and canning lots of tomatoes right now. We've got 24 American, American Terran Taste cows, cows over here. Oh, 22 cows and two heifers, I think. Yeah. yeah. So we're not over sure, here in the pasture. We're sure how many are bred? Yeah. Um, the guy that we got him from, his bull apparently must have. I don't know, maybe wasn't as good as he thought bred, it was. Or he could have gotten injured at some point during the breeding season. Yeah. So he successfully bred several. He said like five or six at least. Yeah. Um, but he was expecting them all to be heavy bred and due in September. Right. And they're not. So um, some of them are like five or six. So he's looking into getting another bull um, to bring to us. And he'll breed the rest of them. And also hopefully Gertrude well breed that would be good that would yeah. be amazing um because she needs to be bred back she's let's see we're april so we're over two months out we're two and a half months out from when she cast so she needs mm -hmm. to go ahead and get bred back pretty soon um so that's what we have going on with cows yep. um, the gardens are going business is going still have the ford for sale um not a whole lot of bites but several but not um most people aren't like seriously looking they're just looking to look kind yeah of deal more than when you put things on facebook for sale you get a lot of people is this still available <laughs> yes and then you never hear anything yeah. back i'm like <clears throat> the gardens are petering out because it's august yep. um our cucumbers have given up we have the tomatoes are still going they struggled with the heat we had a major heat wave here like it was heat index over 100 and the humidity was insane which is not normal for here no. it felt like florida i was like i left florida it felt like Why florida to you not to me <laughs> <laughs> no the heat i don't do well with the heat i have some health issues so when i get overheated it's not pretty no. just, so i uh, i don't i had to stay in the house and hibernate <clears throat> but anyway so the tomatoes are doing okay i think they're kind of coming back from that and they're still producing a ton and we're canning sauce like we mm -hmm. said um, cucumbers petered out. We did not get to can any pickles. We made. You did some refrigerator pickles, we did but about a gallon yeah. of refrigerator pickles, and maybe eaten fresh. But we did not get enough to justify. We couldn't Actual fill a can. canning. No, yeah. no. So that was a little bit disappointing. Next year, I'm gonna hit it a lot heavier with. Plant pickles. a lot more, yeah. yeah, or with the cucumbers. Um, green beans have been nothing but a flop, and we planted more across the creek. Some they did done great. It. They looked great. We had electric fence. I think a rabbit slips under it and has been in there eating them. I mean, they're like six inches tall stems, but they've eaten the leaves. So um, we've got another pound to put in. I'm going to put them in down there, but I've got to figure out a way to keep those rabbits out. Maybe some poultry if, netting. If we, if we I'm going to look enough. around and see if I have any more poultry netting to stick around them. I don't think a rabbit will be able to go through that without getting hopefully. shocked. So that's um, hopefully because we don't have. We have the, there's a few rattlesnake beans that are coming up but like maybe 10 or 12 plants and then the other pole beans look good they're setting bloom i don't know how heavy they're going to produce so hopefully we can at least can a little bit we really were hoping to put up a couple hundred quarts at yeah. least but we're at nothing we're at no quarts right now uh, no quarts corn we preserved a little bit of corn not a ton but a good more than we've ever done more than before. we've ever done yeah it's exciting to see that it was so su successful planted intensely like that so we can do which we've done that in very small sections before but we did a lot there mm -hmm. so we're wanting to do it on we still have our glass gym corn that's it's uh, doing well. we're going to leave it on the stalk and let it dry on the mm -hmm. stalk uh we have the our popcorn potato, yeah the popcorn it's coming up the potatoes our red potatoes 
they kind of got decimated, the leaves did, so I don't know what the, in the ground whether we have any or not. Um, we need to check and see at some mm -hmm. point what they're doing. The rest of the potatoes look really good, so we're just letting them do their thing because we were late planting, so we don't want to harvest right. um, for a while. So they'll be okay good. left in the yeah. ground, so they should peppers, be fine. My peppers have done okay. We've dried a little bit. Um, not just a ton, they've just done all right. We haven't really canned any peppers. Um, no. So, well, a, little, a few banana peppers off can. Yeah, we did a few banana yeah. peppers, that's right. And I did a batch of pepperoncinis. Mm -hmm. So, but not, I mean, when I say powder. a batch, I mean like yeah, a like jar. A like a, like a, yeah. No, I mean like one jelly jar full. Right, of yeah. So, um, we did some refrigerator pickling of a few things. Our okra has been coming in, but not like massive amounts at once it's like a handful every day yeah. so we and the kids love it so they've been eating it raw or just cooking it and it's like a little portion and everybody's eating like three pieces <laughs> and we did pickles them yeah so we i think it's getting ready to start rocking yeah, out it the looks, okra's looking good it's looking good so we're we're still have high hopes for the okra i would like to be able to cut it and freeze it a bunch because we do like it just sauteed mm -hmm. i didn't know i like sauteed okra and so we lived in florida and we had some so we cooked some and yeah we're like, and sauteed and, and bacon grease i just like chunks of bacon and fried. It. yeah that was it's so good. delicious mm. but um so we're we still have high hopes for the okra not giving up on green beans yet we're gonna do more of those um our seminal pumpkins look fantastic yeah they do they look great they haven't gotten any bugs getting them and they're just doing really well so we, we still think they're going to do great um we need to figure out some fall crops uh definitely broccoli and cabbage yeah and get uh, some things going oh, what was fall. the other thing that i had kale oh yeah we went, uh, yeah, never we had kale, kale before until this past yeah we went spring, over to maybe. our friends and that was seeds delicious. for generations and yeah. they had some we ate it and they gave us some seeds while we were so there. We're so we're excited. Gonna... I'm, gonna, I'm excited about kale. Yeah. We are excited about kale. We mm -hmm. are those people. Yes. <laughs> so, oh, and we butchered our first batch of meat chickens, meat birds. Yep. So they are in the freezer. And then we have our second group, which we've had hit or miss luck with them. So we've lost a few more than we would like to have, but they'll... They're only a couple weeks old, a few weeks old. So yeah. it'll be a while before we butcher them. Um, mm -hmm. We might have our cooler stuff up, but we'll see. Our, hopefully, uh, yeah. Hopefully we'll have our, uh, we should. our walking cooler ready when that happens. Yes. But, um, and Derek has been working and mowing and um, just doing that. We're looking at... We've been hitting it hard. Yeah. I mean, things are... It's still going to be grass for another couple months, and then things will start to wind down. So we're looking at... The possibility of a contractor's license yes for Derek so he can do some things like some remodel he's a lot got like mad skill sets y'all he won't brag on himself but he can do a lot of things <laughs> he really is good so uh, then he can do work on maybe some renovations and things like that for people mm -hmm. for the winter yep what else anything else I don't I've been I uh, you're making a quilt. I'm making a quilt. It's called Farm Sweet Farm by Lori Holt, and it's adorable. And it's a bunch, a bunch of hand applique. It's crazy. My mom bought me the kit for Mother's Day as a gift, and uh, so I finally started on it. I've been intimidated by it and staring at it for months, but it is she got is, the cutest fabrics and it's adorable. I love it. And she is amazingly good at it. It's crazy. <laughs> like it's, it drives me crazy to see her sit there and do the stuff that she's like doing. I, I, it's very tedious. And I have a hard time Everybody's with stuff like, like that. Everybody, I've been posting. If you follow me on Facebook or Instagram, you'll see the pictures of it. And everybody's like, how do you have time in the summer? And I'm like, I'm neglecting everything else. <laughs> no, if I had green beans coming in and I was canning green beans, I wouldn't have time. No. But since my green beans flopped, I got plenty of time, right? <laughs> no. Yep. But um, anyway, it's something I haven't, I haven't been able to put much time into sewing um, over the course of the last several years. I just haven't had the resources or the space. And I still don't have any space and I took over the living room and it's insane but uh, yep. they cleaned it up so I'm like where is all my stuff but uh, I can pull it out and work on it a little here and there um, so I'm excited to be doing something that I really enjoy doing I Absolutely. haven't done in a long time yeah, that's good. it's been a nice creative outlet it has been after the storm and moving and life <laughs> you're doing something been, you really enjoy it's like taking a deep breath and yeah, it's, it's relaxing de to her. Decompressing. It makes me anxious, but it relaxes her. It doesn't make you anxious that I do it. it would no, make, no, no. It would make it just, you anxious too. Do I, it. The thought of me doing what you're doing makes me anxious. But you don't mind. You like no, no, no. I like you doing it. it. Yeah. yeah. So anyway, <laughs> it's about to get dark. Yeah, we're losing daylight quick. Yes. So which it is almost nine o'clock at night. Yeah. So. 
Oh, and this month is August, and it is our anniversary month. Yes. Our anniversary is August 9th. Yay. August 9th. Next yep. week, and we've been 17 married. 17 years. 17 years. What? Yes. <laughs> it's a long time. 17 years, 8 kids, a whole lot of farm animals. Yep. And August 30th is your birthday. It is. We won't talk about how old I'll be. <laughs> no, I don't care. It no. doesn't bother me. I'll be 36. Yep. So, yeah, August 30th, three weeks to the day. After our anniversary, it's my That's birthday. Right. So we're going to have a big celebratory month. I don't know what that means, and I'm just saying it for the camera. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we're very low-key around we here. We are. We anyway. like, I mean, we'll celebrate each other. We'll yeah. be happy, but we don't, like, go crazy. For big parties. We all have birthday months. No. <laughs> like, every day we get, you know, no. But anyway. All right, well, happy anniversary and birthday to us. <laughs> yes.